Their final stop is a visit to Cambridge to spend time with renowned astrophysicist and author Stephen Hawking, who could be the longest living survivor of ALS. Dr. Hawking's best-selling book, A Brief History in Time, has been translated into over 40 languages. He's still teaching astrophysics at Cambridge University and uses a computer to speak for him. I first met Charlie and Lucy when I visited Berkeley in 1988. They struck me as very positive and determined not to let ALS defeat them. Charlie and I had problems, but then so do other people. Nearly everyone has some difficulty in their life. The trick is not to complain, but to get on and meet the challenge, as well as one can. What more can one do? I guess Charlie came to the same conclusion. I get embarrassed when people talk about courage. It is not courage, just common sense, which maybe isn't that common. Charlie and Lucy echo Dr. Hawking's belief on overcoming adversity. Sometime in our lives, we will all be faced with some type of adversity that may seem too tough to deal with. And when that time comes, we have to make a choice. We can choose to feel sorry for ourselves and be miserable and cause everyone around us to be miserable. Or we can choose, with God's help, to go through it, to go through this difficult time and knowing that we will come out of it better and stronger and to borrow a phrase from a friend of ours, Tim Hansel, uh, pain and suffering is inevitable, but misery is optional. We make the choice. Choosing joy, the Wiedemeyers press on. Yet problems with healthcare providers, nursing shortages, and another life-threatening diagnosis would loom on the horizon.